हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एज वी ऑल नो फार्माकोलॉजी इज अ साइंस ऑफ ड्रग्स एंड फार्माकोलॉजी हैज टू ब्रॉड डिविजन्स नेमली फार्माको काइनेटिक्स एंड फार्माको डायनेमिक्स नाउ टूडेज वीडियो इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो इट गिव्स एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू द फार्माको काइनेटिक्स ऑफ अ ड्रग Now this video is the first in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics. Now pharmacokinetics is abbreviated here as PK. Now pharma refers to drug and kinetics is the movement. So when a drug is administered uh, inside the body, the drug moves inside the body. So pharmacokinetics is the movement of the drug through the body. So when a drug moves through the body, a drug is absorbed then there is distribution of drug metabolism and finally excretion of drug by the body so the pharmacokinetics deals with what the body does to a drug and it is referred to as ADME now look at this figure it shows schematic representation of ADME that is the schematic representation of pharmacokinetics now let's understand pharmacokinetics with the help of this figure now first to fall when a drug is administered uh, the drug is administered by any uh, one of the different routes of administration let's say it is administered by intravenous route so the drug is directly injected into the systemic circulation that is uh, as soon as a drug is injected it goes into the systemic circulation and the step of absorption here is skipped uh, but if a drug is administered by any other route of administration let's say the drug is administered by the oral route uh, the drug is swallowed uh, the drug reaches the stomach or the small intestine now the drug has to cross the wall of stomach or it has to cross the wall of small intestine so as to reach the systemic circulation so except when given iv in all other routes uh, the drug has to cross the biological membranes so as to reach the systemic circulation so absorption is the movement or the transport of the drug from its site of administration into the blood circulation so uh, once a drug is absorbed it reaches the systemic circulation now in the blood are present plasma proteins like albumin glycoprotein now most of the drugs bind reversibly to these plasma proteins now these drug protein binding they act as a reservoir and percentage of drug that binds to plasma protein varies from drug to drug so in the systemic blood Uh, the drug exists in the two forms one is a free form of the drug and the other is the drug bound to the plasma protein now as the free drug leaves the blood stream and it is gradually distributed uh, in the body tissues more and more of the free drug is released from uh, these reservoirs of plasma proteins such that the plasma concentration of free drug in the blood is maintained constant now the free drug is essential uh, in order to produce the therapeutic action now from the systemic circulation drug is distributed uh, to the body tissues uh, the drug reaches the site of action where it binds to its receptors and it produces its therapeutic effect now the drug is also distributed to other body tissues now metabolism and excretion of the drug occurs simultaneously along with the distribution and thus this makes the process highly complex now talking about metabolism liver is the main site of metabolism now other sites are for example small intestine uh, then kidneys uh, lungs are also the site of metabolism then plasma uh, so these are the different sites where the drugs are metabolized now drugs are basically metabolized uh, so that they are converted into polar or water soluble forms and they could be easily excreted from the body now in majority of cases when the drug is metabolized it produces inactive metabolites but in few cases like for example in the case of pro drugs uh, active metabolites are produced like for example enalapril uh, it is a pro drug it is activated in the body once it is Uh, metabolized so enalapril produces active metabolites in the body now uh, drugs are also uh, metabolized in the plasma now 
these are metabolized by the uh, enzymes by the enzymes present in the plasma that is asterases now drugs like aspirin cocaine uh, they are metabolized in the plasma by the plasma asterases now drugs and their metabolites these are excreted primarily in the urine uh, but they are also excreted in the feces sweat saliva etc so this is in brief about absorption distribution metabolism and excretion of the drugs and introduction to pharmacokinetics now if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video